Now to fix this error, let's head over to central administration so that we can fix the search error. I'm going to click on start and search for central administration, SharePoint 2016 central administration. I'm going to click on yes. And here we are. This is our SharePoint 2016 central administration. I'm going to click on manage service applications under the application management and these are all the services and as you can see we do not have a search service configured or created this is what we are going to do in this video so on my top left hand side i'm going to under the new menu i'm going to click on search service application and this dialog box allows us to configure or create the search service application so i'm going to leave the application name as is and we are not going to touch the cloud search service application yet we just want to create a simple search service application at this time and here we have the option for selecting the search service account i'm going to leave that as is and if I scroll down, it's asking me to uh, create a new application pool. What I'm going to do right now is instead of creating a new application pool, I'm going to just use the existing application pool, which is the security token service application pool. I'm assuming that you are the farm admin. If you're able to get to this screen uh, in order to configure this, one thing to note that if you're creating a new search service application, you must be a farm admin because you're creating a new service application on the farm level. So there's one prerequisite. If you scroll down, it's asking me to, so this is an option for creating a new application pool for search query and site settings web service. What I'm going to do is that I'm just going to use the existing one and not create a new application pool. So with that, I'm just going to hit okay and let it do the job. It's going to take a while to process the search service application. All right, looks like it is doing something now. The search service is configured and now it is configuring the search service application. I'm going to pause the video and come back. It's been one minute and it is still going, so you have to be a little patient. I'll pause the video and come back. It has been nearly three minutes and it is still configuring the search service application. I'll just pause the recording and I'll come back with some more status updates. All right, so it looks like it has successfully created the search service application. So I'm going to click on OK. And there's our search service application right here. And it has been started as well. So with our search service application configured, and we started as well the status says started now let's go back to our i'm just going to minimize this and i'm going to go back to my page uh, with that had the error and actually i'm just going to start from beginning i'm just going to redo the steps so the file that we were after was black beauty and now i'm going to search for this file knowing that the search service application is now configured and I should see some results coming through, right? Let's find out. And I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard and let's see what happens. All right, looks like something went wrong. Let's find out what that is. All right, now the error is a bit different from the previous one and it says, search has encountered a problem that prevents results from being returned. Well that is one progress at least it is not saying that it's not able to connect to the search service now it is able to connect to the search service it's just that it's not able to something is preventing the results from being returned so what do we need to do well there is something that we would need to do there is inside of our search service application and let's fix this in the next video